but for now we'll just uh, do some Paper Mario and yeah, let's get this started. So we're in the middle of the uh, tree in chapter 2, I don't remember the name of the tree, the Great Tree or something like that, where the punies live. So now we need to find the crystal star number 2. Which is hiding, I think they said it was at the very bottom of the tree. Right, so I believe this was the direction we were headed. But yeah, good evening, uh, Tuhin. I still, I still feel, I feel it's weird for like trying to pronounce that. Ugh, go down. Don't quite remember what the last thing I was doing was before we um, called it a night. Oh wait, we picked up a key, didn't we? Hang on, let me check. Important things. Yeah, we picked up the blue key, so we need to go to the cell to unlock the rest of the the, the punies. That's what we're doing. You know, when I was younger and I played this, for the longest time I was kind of, like, I figured out that you could blow these guys down and then blow them over, but it was kind of difficult to align them up properly so that you could actually do it without too much trouble. It wasn't until later that I figured out you had to use the orb to kind of line them up in the same spots so that you can kind of do this without too much trouble. You can do it without that, it's just a lot harder because they don't all stand in the same general area. Did I pick that orb up? I did, right, okay. I believe the cell is up this way. We opened the red cell which contains uh, the elder. So now we need to open up the blue cell which contains the other, I don't know, another, another 85 punies I think. 85 to 90 of them. Somewhere about that. Just trying to remember where that cell is. I think it's up here. Yep, it is up here. Petunia, I'm back. We brought the key. We're opening the cell right now. If I sound a little bit, um... If I sound a little less energetic tonight, that's just because of the weather, really. So yeah, Petuni is like his sister, I guess. Big brother! Big brother! Is it time for my cameo yet? Little Petuni, are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Nope, I'm fine. Thank heavens. Hey, big brother, I've got something for you. I meant to give it to you sooner, but... Mushrooms are your favourite, aren't they, big brother? But... Well, this one kind of got dried out. Ooh, nasty. Big brother, it was icky, wasn't it? I'm sorry. No, no, not at all. Mmm, delicious, very. Sorry, I tried to do my best uh, John Tron impression. Uh, very yummy. Big brother, are you okay? Give me a hug, Petuni. Hey, quit it, Punio. Come on. Don't get all mushy, everyone's staring. Well, it was just a really sweet gesture, that's all. Ah, uh, it was nothing. You've seen 101 Dalmatians, now get ready for 101 Squishies. I mean, Poonies.
at last we conquer, we, we command a, an, a massive, I, I can't even say, say what's the name, we command a massive army in which to conquer with. I like that once you get every single puny, the, like, the puny theme starts playing. Yeah, you especially need the orb for once you get a hundred of these, because it really is difficult to line them all up. Got a feeling I'll be needing him momentarily because of those fucking piders. So there's been this rumor kind of going about. I don't really. I take I take rumors with a massive grain of salt. But let's say that there's been there's been this E3 leak that's been kind of making the rounds, and I don't I don't really believe any of it for a second. But there are st oh shit, fucking piders. I'm gonna need to go down there and get them back. But yeah, there's been this uh, uh, rumor of like Nintendo's supposed E3 revelations for their um, uh, video. What do you call it? The the E3 video presentation or whatever it was. Like the basically the thing where they announced all their games before the Treehouse. And the most notable one, because it's kind of relevant to the game I'm playing right now, is that there's going to be a Paper Mario game, that's what they say. I don't believe it for a second, but... Let's just uh, humour the idea for a moment and say that it is true. So here's what the rumour says about the Paper Mario game that's coming out, supposedly, that they're going to announce. It's not being developed by intelligent systems who have made all the other games up to this point, but it's going to be a supposed return to the partner system, but it's still going to have some of the limitations of the current Color Splash slash um, Paper Jam, not Paper Jam, whatever that one was called, Sticker Star. It's going to have some of the limitations of those still, but it will have like a partner style gameplay. I'm not sure what that means exactly. Because when I think of like return to partner style gameplay, but also having limitations of the modern games, I don't understand why you would have both of them and not just go full on going back to basics. But yeah, I don't really believe the rumour anyway. I don't really believe the rumour on the grounds that one, it's a rumour and rumours are generally just like made up shit. In fact, I think the person who made that supposed leak had came out and said that it wasn't real. But also when you take into consideration that um, Color Splash came out like about two years ago, so I don't think they would have made and developed and announced a new Paper Mario this soon. I think maybe like in the next couple years but not at E3 this year. Seems way too soon. Shit. I'll always be open to the idea of a new Paper Mario because they always could 
possibly return to the roots of the series to what to which made the um basically go back to what made the original trilogy good to begin with right okay just wanted to make sure there was no more piders and yes that is what they're called piders with it it's basically spiders but no s at the start oh nice always check those bushes Wait, where did the rest of them go? I thought they all fell down here. Did they go back up to where the pipe is? Please don't tell me they've despawned. Oh, there they are. Okay, good. For a second there, I thought some of them despawned. I would have been really annoyed. Because then we would have to backtrack to where the Elder is and get him to call them back. So remember the invasion of the 10 Jabbies? Well now it's time for the invasion of the 100 Jabbies. Everyone it's the Jabbies! The 100 Jabby Squadron! Charge! Again, you can kind of influence the outcome of the battle by using Flurry, but only to a certain extent. I'm not really sure what the best way to do this is, but sometimes you can blow the jabbies into, like, being dizzy. It looks like we're winning, though. There we go. I actually won by a large margin that time, 62 left. Yeah, you have to know to use her to get a better chance at that, but sometimes you can still lose. And when I was a kid I had no idea you could use Flurry, so imagine you playing for the first time and then doing this part and you would lose over and over. I mean, you could still win without her help, but people would probably assume that you don't need to use anything, it's kind of just up to the... it's just up to the punies. But yeah, I would like to see a new Paper Mario if it goes back to the, the roots. But I don't know if we're going to see anything like that for a while. Probably not for another couple years at the very least. Possibly next year we might hear something, but I don't count on that. Yeah, she's not really good against the Piranhas then. Get bodied. Yep. There we go. Actually, I know I've got a better idea. I think I need to get at least three of these. So that's one. That's two. And that's three. That's probably a guaranteed kill. I think it starts with one HP guaranteed and then everything on top of that is like an extra one. Is there a star thing back there? That looks like a bush you could inspect. Oh, but there's one back there. Always got to look out for those star pieces. They'll come in handy later on. Can 
Guess I'll put that orb there and see what happens. Oh. What just happened? Bah -ha! Oh, it's him. Ward Crump. Man, you guys are dense. Brilliant little trap, huh? And boy, did you bite on it. Saw you sticking that silly stone on the pedestal, so I made a fake one. Awesome. I mean, I knew it was great, but seeing you fall for it really gives me a warm... Gives me a warm fuzzy. Bah, 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 ha, ha. Talk about complete idiots. You guys are so dumb, it hurts. Anyway, with you fools out of the picture, I can take the time hunting the crystal star. Bah, 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 ha, ha. I like his laugh. Mario, what do we do? We have to find a way out of here. What can we do? Well, for a start, I'll take that puny orb with me and... I'll just sneak my way out of there. Boy, this isn't just right. This isn't... This just isn't right. Let's do something before my claustrophobia sets in. Mario, think of something. Right, well, I guess I'll go down this way then and just leave him. Wait. You see those? I'm pretty sure we've seen columns like that somewhere before. Oh yeah, we have seen them somewhere before. I think I'm going to need to backtrack to see what those were. Or actually, yeah. Yeah. Right, let's see. Sun, moon, puny star. Sun, moon, puny star. So yeah, we need to do a little bit of backtracking because there's another place on this... in this dungeon where you have to input those four symbols in that order. Also, I'm not quite sure how to reach that. Is there an invisible block here? A Kaizo block? Nope. Guess I'll come back to that one later. Actually, I think I know how to get that, but we can't get it until at least chapter 4 or something. I need to get a, a, a power-up from later in the game and then come back to grab that. Wherever it is, it must be worth it. It's probably a, a rare badge or something. Right, here's the spot. Uh, we need sun, then the moon, then puny, and then star. There we go. Stream is showing up fine for you guys, isn't it? Yeah, it appears so. Right, that's fine. Just wanted to check real quick. Oh, big chest, you know that means something's good in there. Got the super boots. Hey there, I'm Taudette. Congratulations on getting the super boots. These cool kicks power up the jump attacks. Your shit post is in the general chat if you want to view it. Oh, you mean on the Discord? Hang on, I'll... I'll finish reading this first and then I'll check. You'll be able to use a new technique with them, so let's practice, okay? If you press A at the right moment when you jump, you'll do a spin jump. Timing is everything. So basically, a button stomp. Cool. Wow, that was perfect. You're a natural. Nope, I've got it. It looks like you've mastered the spin jump. You can smash through spots like this with your spin jump. That's it, you've got it. You can use the spin jump in battle too. Give it a try. I hope to see you again soon. Good luck in your adventure. Let me pause this for a second so I can check this. I'm gonna mute this for a moment because I'm going to check Check this thing.
Bear with me a moment. So Moo has made a shit post version of that uh, Homer Simpson meme of which I brought up the last time I streamed this. Because there was like a Paper Mario one I showed you guys. I'm just going to quickly check this. I'm not going to play it just yet, I'm going to wait for it to load and hopefully my internet won't die on me. Right, one second, I'm going to put it on the stream as well I guess so you guys can see it. Right, just pray that this works, hang on. Hang on, almost ready. Again, I should really reorganise my OBS stuff so that I can do this quicker. Not very good at organising shit, it turns out. Yeah, bear with me a moment. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to find the correct thing here. I think it's this one? Yeah, here we go. Again, I should really organise my shit. Also, why is the chat not showing up? Nobody told me the chat wasn't showing for some reason. Did I... wait a minute, did I wipe that by accident? I must have wiped that as a mistake. Yeah, I think I wiped that by accident when I was trying to find the source for this. Right, so here you go, here's the shit post that Moo had made, it just finished, and posted. Let me just uh, turn the volume up. No idea what this is. R1, to hold R1. Killer is dead. Release. <laughs> nice. I've never played Killer is Dead, but I have played some of Suda51's things before, mainly the kill- the Fuck, no more, what's it called? No More Heroes? I've played the No More Heroes games. I know Killer is Dead is directed by Suda51 as well. I should probably look into playing that at some point. But I'm already kind of... I'm already kind of full on games on the schedule right now, so I don't know when I'll be looking into something like that. Seems like the kind of game I would probably stream. Here's a panel we can test this on. Ah, there we go. I think we've got enough Shane Sprites now to power up a partner. Oh god damn it, I didn't fucking know that was gonna be there. Thankfully I don't have to go far to get back down there again. Okay, let's try that again. I thought only the shine sprite was the thing worth grabbing down there, that's why I jumped off the peg as soon as I got it. Note to self, don't don't hold the direction when you drop down there. In fact, I'm going to use the butt stomp to line myself down there. Line it up. There we go. Oh, that's a good badge, actually. I think I'll be leveling up the badge points next. I don't remember what I leveled up last, but we've got enough for this anyway. So charge basically lets you charge your character for one turn in the next turn. I think your attack is either doubled or it adds like one or two extra points of damage. So if you're okay with wasting a turn then your next turn has even greater damage which works great for certain attacks. Like you could basically synergize that with a multi-attack attack. Basically like power bounce or something. I need to get back to the punies, I believe they are this way. Nope, 
Yep, they're in here. Um, why are some of them still hanging on the edge? Hanging on the edge of tomorrow! Uh, come on, go down. There we go. Oh wait, we're missing one. Wait, where did that other one go? Oh, there he is, God damn it! I did not see- where the fuck was he? I did not see him. Oh, that was completely unintentional. I was trying to go in the pipe there. Right, now we've got all of them. I love when the NPC kind of freaks out about it because they can't get anywhere close to you. And they just like jump around in the same spot. Did I get the spin jump in there? Yep, I got it. I pressed it at the last possible second there, I meant to do that earlier. There was a hidden block under the badge. You just didn't aim for it. Alright, okay then. Right, well if I pass by there again, I'll go for it. Oh, you dick. Yeah, I hate the yuxes. Yuck sucks, that kind of rhymes. Hey. 
I can never fucking time that super guard when there's like when there's a Yux that fires from that far away for some reason. There we go. Yeah, Yux is probably the most annoying enemy in the in the tree area. It's the kind of enemy that makes you waste your time a little bit. Oh, wait, did we just go the wrong way there? Gotta love it when a battle turns you around for a moment because you completely forgot which direction you were going in. And now the Yucks will be back again. Oh no, I guess not. Right, no, this is the part where you need a certain ability for later. Either that or I'm constantly missing the invisible block. But yeah, there's like a, an enhanced jump you get later on I think, and then you can hit that. So that one we cannot get right now. Remind me to come back for that when we get that ability. Alright, the punies. Um, I don't know how to get them over here. If I leave this room, like if I leave and if I use the loading zone to go to the next area, will the punies disappear for good or will they stay here? Because I haven't quite th I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I'm supposed to go back up here first. Yeah, there's probably something around here that we need to do. Give me a moment to figure that out. They will stay there. Right, okay. It's probably in the next room then. So I just don't want to lose them for good and then have to go all the way back to the Elder because they're quite a distance away now. Why the fuck did 25 of them stop there? Actually, I think it's up here, isn't it? Ah, there is, right. Oh, wait a minute, they're... They didn't get drowned in the water, did they? Oh good, right. <laughs> I thought I had to go back to the Elder again. Also, it turns out we don't need the super jump, we can just do this. Because I know for a fact there's like an improved jump you get later in the game, but that's not going to be for a few chapters yet. Yeah. 
101. I think we're not that far away from the boss fight, so I'm going to switch out to Goombella now. Oh no, what's happening? Yep, there's a save block in a healing station, which means a boss is... Boss is upon us. Uh, upon us? Is upon us. So that's how you get to this room. The boss approacheth. Let me see. Things, things gotta be around here somewheres. With an S. Uh huh. What's that? Whoa! Sounds like a mob. Better clear out. I don't even know what voice I'm going for with that guy. It probably sounds different now from when I first played this game, when we saw him back in prologue. There is. Wow, Mario, check it out. It's the Crystal Star. Score! Hey, you I see you, jerk. Mario, it's that weasel. Bah, 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 ha, ha. Man, am I lucky or what? Or am I just good? Oh, you say you need a crystal star, Lord Crump? Boom! Falls right into my lap. Still, this is humiliating. You should have been able to you shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. So for insult insulting my awesome trap, I'm going to repay you with the little present. You know what it is? Oh, just a little something I'd like to call a remote time bomb detonator. I'm gonna use this to bury you and those squirmy punies into rubble. Sounds fun? Well, enjoy your final mi minutes inside this dank old tree, and with that, pow, I'm gone! This is not cool, we gotta get out of here right now! Oh shit, the orb. And didn't tell them the punies. How many star points have we got? 78. If we're quick enough, we could probably level up on the way out. And yeah, sure. Your, your timer still goes down during fights. I think we saw this door that was locked. Yeah. Kinda remember what that door was. It's weird that it actually gives you the option to save in the middle of a timer. Like what happens if you save it at like one second to go? Does it just reset back to 300? Because surely it can't fucking make you create a save file that's incompletable in that regard. I'm guessing the timer just goes back up to 300 seconds when you reload it. Oh 
Gosh, have we got to do this on the way out? Wait, why does it say 77? Punies? Why is it telling me I've got 77 and not 100? I guess the Elder will be back at the start, so we can just call him, I guess. Apparently the punies are not needed for this part. Okay then. That's kind of dumb though, where the fuck did they go? Like, I don't care if they're not mandatory, I still don't know where they disappeared to. In such a small space. They won't be going further this away. What? Are you nuts? Move it, you old geezer! What? Did you just call me an old geezer? Where'd you get off talking like that? You've got no respect, brat. Think at my age, I think to do with my might. Even if it kills me, I won't let you through, I'm ready. Elder power activates. Well, what's your problem, Grandma? You got a ear tickling your brain or what? Oh, oh what the? Ow! Can't take nervous step. Oh! What a time for my stupid back to start acting up! You hot-headed old coot! How dare you defy me! I could shine my boots with you! Stop right there, jerk! The timer's still going. You aren't going anywhere, Mr. Stinker! Now give us the crystal star and drag your sorry self out of this tree forever! Bah, bah, bah. You guys are nuts, you know that? Well, I guess I better shut off this timer! 48 seconds. Okay, you past pests. One pummeling coming up with extra fists. Metal fist, that is. Awake, Magnus von Grapple. Time for a technological thrashing. Enjoy! Yeah, this is where shit starts to get serious. I remember having trouble with this fight. Like, when I played this way back when it was new. Are you crying yet? Yeah, sorry, this isn't the... Sorry, this thing isn't armed with tissues. Well, Magnus von Grapple has the, that effect on people. Total weeping terror. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out the power on this bad boy. Well, he is powerful. Still, something about this metal freak just doesn't seem right to me. Keep your eyes open. Time to use the old tassel ability. It's Magnus von Grapple. It's the giant robot built by the X-Nuts. Warren Krupp drives it. Max HP is 30, attack is 2, and defense is 1. Its most effective attack is the one that takes advantage of its size, a smothering stomp. It can also shoot out its fists, which do super gnarly rocket punches. Its fists have a max HP of 2, an attack of 4, and a defense of 0. Its fists are super powerful, so it's best to knock them down fast. The thing about this robot, I can't really tell if it looks cool or really stupid. Here it comes, sucker! Magnus Von Punish! Shit. I pressed the button early there because he was moving his foot in a weird way. Nice. Oh, 
Oops. Oh, it ain't over yet. This is so awesome. You check out what check out what else this guy can do. You're gonna love it. This might not work too well for you though. Probably a good time to use this. Nice. Guaranteed six damage on everything. Girl, ah, oh. not good. Can't last. Nice. Everything's coming up, Melhouse. May as well finish him off with this, if we don't fuck up. Didn't think I'd get the opportunity to use this twice in the battle, but then we got the three shines. Okay, he's dead. Yes, maximum. I'm actually surprised that fight went really fucking well. Ah, this could be the end! I'm going to upgrade badge points. Also, hi Abby, welcome to the stream. Same for you, Squirrel AJ. No, Magnus Von Grapple! How could we lose? I'll remember this, losers! Yeah, you better run. Lord Crumb summons us! Retreat, heads up, run away! We did it, Mario, yes. Was that great or what? They're gone. This place is this place this place is going back to the peaceful place I remember. Alright there, Marty O. You can have the Emerald Star, the crystal star that resides within this tree. Star number two is now ours, and we've learned a special move, Clock Out. Don't remember what that one does, guess we'll find out shortly. And so, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second crystal star. With the x Knots gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the Great Tree. The Boggly Woods echo through with the puny songs of joy. But, this may not be the last our hero hears from the Vale Exnauts. They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. Save all the game progress up to this point? Yes. You're injured, but trying not to move? What happened? That sucks. I hope you make a swift recovery, Abby. What? Say that again. How can you... how... you can't get in touch with Lord Crump? You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Sir Grodus, please allow me to enter. Yes, what is it? I have a, I have a report, sir. The crystal star in the Buckley Woods has apparently been taken away by Mario. What? You must be joking! What about the Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. 
Hmm, disturbing. This Mario character, what kind of... Speak up, x nut What's the status of the other crystal stars? I apologize, sir. We're still searching for the other crystal stars. Unfor unsuccessfully, sir. We knew of three of them. Hooktail Castle, Bogley Woods, and the one we got in Rogueport. That means there are four other crystal stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir. As I, su as, I su as I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has the map. He must. Listen up. You, I want you to keep a close eye and watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Mario, I love you. I like Grotus. Oh, Mario, did you even read that email I sent to you? I wonder. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I never dance at the mushroom ball again? What will become of me? I keep checking the walkers, thinking I can interact with them. Yeah, chapter 3 is going to be long. I will not do the whole thing tonight, but I could do some of it. Oh, is this text doing? We probably wouldn't even get to see, like, the start of Chapter 3 until, like, half an hour from now, because I do believe there's, like, a little bit to do before we get there. Can't use the elevator. Okay. Hello, Princess Peach. I'm glad you came. That mail I sent to Mario, it did reach him, alright? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? Excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd. When you said that, I had an impost to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce this impost is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? There's no, re there's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Wanting to do something together, it's a part of love. I know it. But then again, you are, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait. Wait just a minute. What am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance. It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You've got no arms, no feet, or you can't even move. Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Oh, alright, I guess. I must say, though, it's going to feel pretty weird dancing with myself. Press the buttons as they display on the screen. Right, okay. It looks like the A button's doing nothing, but I don't think you actually turn when you press A. I've pressed the favorite button correct up, up to this point so far. Yeah, the A button doesn't even turn. When I play, pressed A for the first time, I thought I mispressed it or mistimed, but that's not the case. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun. Is this um, impulse, I feel, the concept known as fun? Tech, are you okay? Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. 
please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from the dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. You're a weird computer. No, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Peach. Yep, let's save. Meanwhile, in the Legion of Doom, I mean Pelberg. I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word that Princess Peach was spotted up in the town ahead. Good. Yes, very good. Then I'm off. Those fools don't know what's coming. <laughs> my lords, you're so super. Speaking of super, so this is what Bowser segments are from this chapter on Mutz. Oh, that's right, you can actually get hit by that. Aw. Oh. Well, rip meat. <laughs> oh yeah, you can breathe fire as well. I, I kind of forgot you could do that. Shit. <laughs> I think it's, yeah, it's infinitely, so it doesn't really matter if you die here. As simplistic as these parts are, it's a nice little break from, like, the main story. Did this game predate New Super Mario Bros. for the DS? Because I think that was, like, the first game after this that did, like, the gigantic Mario thing. So it was kind of cool to see it as, like, just a little interesting mechanic for this before they fleshed it out a bit more. I do believe this game did predate that, because I think the DS wasn't out yet at this time. Oh hey, welcome to Pedroburg and... Eek! Hide everybody, hide! <laughs> he ran so fast he had a ghost trail behind him. What a wuss. Yes, hi chickens, I have no need for any of you. What I do need though is Princess Peach, now where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there! Ah, bingo! Princess Peach! Man, that was easy. I found you, my princess. I, Bowser the mighty Koopa King, offer my greetings! <laughs> now, now, none of that silent treatment. You're coming with me to my castle. Clearly she's overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden as well. Complicated. <laughs> ah, I see, I see how we're refined. How elegant. Awesome. I suppose I could live with a silent princess. It might even have its perks, you know. No! My, my life's treasure. I'd rather die than give up my life-size life -size peach poster. And thus the ruse has been revealed. <laughs> Poster! Oh my goodness me, didn't see that coming. Great, just great. Now I look like this huge mighty king who talks to posters. Bowser got jibated hard from that fucking poster. Right, now back to Mario.
Uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done for us. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son, that- you know, son, now that we got right down to it, I'm kinda sad to see you go. I do lo love pun pontificating, so come by whenever you want to sit and chat for a while. Yes, please come back and visit, we'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the Crystal Stars. Oh, I'm sure we'll be back at some point. Yeah, definitely. Take care, guys. See you, Mr. Mario. No, let's go deliver the second Crystal Star to the Thousand Year Door. Are we back up to full health? Right, okay, I guess we don't need the end ticket after all. Hey, you hear that? Someone's mailing you. Oh, that's the email from Peach. Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please, m please know that I am fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the Crystal Stars. I'll try and learn what I can, I can about them. I'll email again when I uncover things, okay? You must know that I miss you. Lately I've dreamed about our days back in the castle. I hope we can spend more carefree days together soon. Princess Peach. Peach! Oh, isn't that sweet, Mario? Oh, that's right, we did level up in the boss fight. Don't know if you guys saw that slowdown now when we hit him. That was weird. Right, so let's see what that clock out thing is for. It mobilizes all enemies for a short period of time. Right, okay. Imagine it doesn't work for every enemy, it's just common enemies. Luigi's in the audience. Only need four. Really hates it when they get jumped right in front of you like that. I may end up going to the the end after all, but it's not like it costs that much money. Like I think it's like five coins or something. It's better than having to throw away an item and then buy an item later. I could have run away from them, but I might as well collect the experience. Uh, give me one quick second, need to check something real quick. Just a moment.
All right, I'm back. I love how, even though the game was paused, Mario was still sleeping. Figured he could get in a power nap. Right, let's uh, head to the next. Let's head to the thousand year door and put the crystal star in and find out where the next crystal star is located. What's that? Is that a secret? Guess not. Hey Soul Man, welcome to the stream. And I was right about this predating New Super Mario Bros. I guess that makes sense. Also, there's a badge up here. Decrease damage by one with a guard action command. How many badge points does that require? Two? I love that you can start a battle by a, like doing a first strike, but the first strike kills them instantly and they're like the only enemy. So it's just like, as soon as the fight starts it's already over. Try to do a super guard there. There we go. So even though we got a new ability for the clock out thing, I will probably never use that in the battle. Also hang on a second. Think I can use Flurry here? Yep. Right, okay, so that recovers the health of- it's basically the same as the other Happy Heart badge, but it's for the partner. Recovers health over time. Like, I think like 1 HP per turn or something like that. Unless we've got an abundance of badge points, I'll probably never use that one. Here we go, Mario. Let's see the crystal star. So lately I've been binge watching all of the old Angry Video Game Nerd episodes. That's the kind of internet entertainment that I can like go back to. Like, the older episodes have obviously aged a bit, but they're still really fun to watch. And you can see how far that James Rolfe has come with the production value since the early days. Like, even this really fucking early stuff has a lot of effort put into it. Like, that, um, Friday the 13th episode, where he's getting fucking chased around by somebody dressed as Jason Voorhees, that's fucking really well done for 2006. Also, he's uploaded, like, all the high-quality versions of the original episodes, so they look much better now than they did when they were back on... Uh, Cinemassacre slash screw attack in 10 years ago. So I'm kind of impressed how relatively good those videos look now. The location of the Crystal Star has now been recorded on the map. There it is, the resting spot for the next Crystal Star. Totally awesome! But it looks like it's pointing somewhere up in the sky. What could that mean?
That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year-old remain the the ten thousand-year-old old. old ru Let's start from the beginning. That means that the beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. I don't know why I tripped on that phrase there, but okay. And that door has been sealed and shut for a thousand years by the crystal stars. In order to open that seal, we'll have to muster the power of all seven of the crystal stars. But the question is, why did they seal the legendary treasure away to begin with? I mean, they were just trying to keep it from being stolen, or what? No, that's not... What? That's not what? I don't know! Sheesh, Professor. Sorry, so sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around this time the town was destroyed. But the problem is no one's e even sure what caused it or the town's demise. All that is written is this. Darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more, assuming that you'll, m you'll make it, well, you know the saying. No, I don't, but whatever. So how about, how about this next crystal star then? It looks like it's floating on a magical map. It's floating on the magical map. Very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. It's a stunning arena where great warriors engage in furious battles. Obstinately, families go up there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but... Behind the screens, the richest people in the world wager the bouts. It's like floating? How are you supposed to get up there then? A special blimp flies up there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. What? What channels? Stop being so mysterious. How do we get seats on that ship? Hmm, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. Word on the street is you have to go through Don Pinata on the west side. West side from Rogueport. Hang on a second. Why is there a weird pop-up in the bottom corner of the screen? Alright, that's just NVIDIA. Okay. Head west from Rogueport's main plaza and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of the town is under the control of Don Pinata, of the Pinata Syndicate. Apparently Don Pinata makes a regular John over Goodsville. So no problem, we'll just go meet this Don Pinata guy and we'll be on our way. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. Rumors say he's quite scary. And Don Pinata is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be very difficult. Oh yeah, we need to power up a partner. I think we've got like four or five Shane Sprays, so that should be enough. Yeah, we've got five. Shazubi and Shazubi. Shell shield protects Mario from attacks with a giant shell. Really, that's cool. Plus, he can now attack with increased power. Oh, there's Luigi. Let's talk to him. Well, and I went to Rumble Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventuring. It was pretty nuts, so bro. You want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Uh, are you having technical problems because I keep going offline for a split second? Let me check OBS. Oh dear, we're having connection issues it appears. Hang on a minute. It was red for a second, I'm going to wait a second. Like I went back to green, but I'm going to uh, keep my eye on that. Not sure why it's suddenly having issues. Yep, it seems to be dipping. Mm. 
Yep. Having technical issues. Right, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to restart the router and hopefully that fixes it. So, stick around. I will not take long. Give or take five minutes. Maybe a little bit less than that. I'm just going to unplug the router for a few minutes just so it, like, properly resets the connection because sometimes restarting via software doesn't really help. So, we'll be right back. Alright, hopefully that fixed the connection issue there. I'm just going to wait till you guys see this again. OBS was starting to take a shit, so I had to restart the internet. Which can take several minutes. Just for a frame of reference, um, restarting... Usually I can restart by going into like the um, router software and telling it to like restart the connection. Which, usually it works, but it doesn't fix the crippling issues which sometimes happen, in which case I need to fully unplug it for at least three minutes and then plug it back in. That usually fixes any severe connection issues. So I had to do that. Unfortunately, when you unplug it for a few minutes and then plug it back in, it takes another several minutes to like re-establish the connection, but it seems to be fine now. In order to gain access to West Rogueport, you need to complete a small task for the Toads. Oh yeah, I did that. I did that between chapters 1 and 2, the contact lens thing. So that part is already complete. Right, so it seems like the stream is stable now, so we'll just continue from where we left off. Let me just get the game up, up, up front again. And let me make sure everything else is up and running. I need to refresh. Restream on my end. Right, okay, let's continue. So we're going to see the next chapter of Luigi's Adventure in Rumble Bump Kingdom. Sorry, Waffle Kingdom in Rumble Bump Volcano. Well, like I said, it's a long story, but here it goes. As soon as my ship docked on the pudding continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through the fording through the dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once, I thought I was done for, bro. I may have screamed a bit to scare them off, you know. But as fate would have it, a blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in this town. Bluey was on a journey of his own, and he joined me after hearing my tale. Now Bluey's a madman. Back in his hometown, they called him the White Torpedo. He looks a little... He, he doesn't look... Eh, I'm going to retract that comment. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me fight to Rumble Bump Volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that make the sun sweat. And yeah, Ma Mario, not only Ma is Mario asleep, but fucking Koops is asleep as well. At least have some... At least feign your interest and not just fall asleep in front of Luigi jerks. And this place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest of one of all was the gigantic 100 foot tall statue that stomped around. Now the weakness of this statue, bro, was a red gem on its forehead. Now I can jump high, but not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit it, the weak spot. All you man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movements and hocked Bluey up there. And Boozai! The white torpedo saved the day and the Joe got whacked. It was a critical hit and the stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it into the base. Now the compass pen pointed west to Plum Belly Village on the Strudel Continent. So I said sail again and came back here to Rogueport to recharge. That's what's happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy's a total liar. Don't listen to him! You heard the story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man! You think that feels good? 
Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done and my pale skin's crispified. Oh, so that's why he doesn't look as white as he's supposed to. Right, okay. <laughs> I would never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes me my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging out with him. You'll pay, Luigi! Poor boy. Let's see what you got in stock. Temporarily immobilizes enemies. Oh wait, that's a name. Mean, these are all badges. Well, these two are badges. Why would you pay 120 coins for a sound effect? Yeah, not really feeling any of these items. Maybe eventually we'll have something decent. Right, let's go to the west side and find Don Pinata. Pinata parlor. I love checking my scores on this machine after playing games. I'm here all day. What? My family is worried about me. Oh, don't be silly. They don't mind. They're also independent. They're happiest doing their own things. Do you know what the scary thing about this is? If you took out all the gambling machines and replaced them with fucking loot box microtransaction games of today, this is still very fucking relevant. I mean, not, not to say that gambling machines causing addictive tendencies is not, but it's almost as if Nintendo predicted this was going to happen with video games and, like, loot box gambling. Psst, this place is run by Don Pinata. You can play fun games in here and win piñata tokens to redeem for prizes. Yeah, play the win to get those prizes. Welcome to the parlor. Hey, hey, you're Mario. Like the one and only. I know all about you. Rescuing Princess Peach is important work. Even the heroes need a relaxation. So what can I show you? You can trade in piñata. You can trade in the piñatas you've won for prizes, and some of our prizes can't be found anywhere else. Cake mix, super shroom, super appeal. Get more star power, and refund. Get some coins after and you use name and bell. Cool. Right, well, I'll come back to this part because I don't think this is where we need to be. That place is run by Don Pinata, but that's, I guess we don't need to go in there to actually find him. The boss told me to look after this place. You do, you do anything funny, I'll touch you just like that. Brooklyn Rage, yeah. Hi there, cutie. Welcome to the West Side Goods. What can I get for you? I guess I'll talk to some people around too, maybe I'll get a clue. Not that guy, that's the water guy. Dan Pinera? Are you kidding? Ordinary guys like that never get to meet a guy like him. Even if you were to meet them, there's no telling what you might do to you. If you really want to see him, ask the robo boss on the east side about him. Yeah, I bet the Ishnail won't know how to get in touch with Dan Pinera. Right, so we need to go east. The cat-eared boo has bunny ears in Japan. It was an obvious nod to Playboy bunnies. Really? Okay then. I know this game was... Um, ...censored. Well, let's just say changed for the localized version of it. I'm kind of surprised that they kept this though. That they didn't take this out. I guarantee you if they were to remake this game they would get rid of that noose. Like just the implication of that sitting there. Whoa, whoa, hold up now. You want to pass through here? You gotta pay 10 coins. I already paid you 10 coins, I'm not paying again. It's really simple. If you don't pay, you don't pass. Fine, I'll fight you then. What, you gotta be kidding? You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Thank you. 
shit. Trying to do that super guard. Damn it. Yes. Not sure how much health this guy has, I'm guessing 15. Yeah, 15. Yeah, I paid him 10 coins the last time I was here. Crud, you dumb video game ho heroes always pull this stuff, it's ridiculous! You think violence solves everything, don't you, huh? Don't you? Yes it does. Hey, this area is the turf of the Ishnail and the Robo Band of Thieves. This boss is usually hiding out in the back alley that just a few people can spot. Oh yeah, that's right, this part was inaccessible. Oh, we can go in here now, though. This part wasn't here before. Like, we couldn't get in here the last time. <laughs> By Jack Thompson. <laughs> hey, is this your first time to the Trouble Center? If you plan on using our services, I can explain them to you first. Need an explanation? I see, then get out of here. Okay, I guess I need to get an explanation. Then listen and listen good. This is the trouble center where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. If you want to see what kind of troubles people have, I have a bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, you'll have to choose someone and try to help them out. If not, not. Help someone and they'll probably give you a reward. Probably. Not a bad deal, eh? But remember, if you decide not to solve a trouble, you'll have to pay to cancel. You got that? Well, good. Then go help someone out. Oh, there's quite a few things here. For a second there, I thought that bottom one said help me daddy, not help my daddy. Merkrip. I don't even know who half of these people are. I just know about uh, Merkrip because we've seen him already. Puny Elder. Pain T Jr. I need a key, safe delivery, price adjustment. Find this guy, hit, hit me please, what? Moosey Millen here, I need some help jogging my memory. Meet me in Rogueport Square in front of the shop. Okay, that that's pretty close by, we'll do that first. So these are basically the side quests, they're purely optional. But if you do enough of them, I think you get a really cool reward. I don't want to say what it is, but I think I remember what the reward for it is. But I'm just going to leave that for you guys to find out if you don't already know what it is. Uh, is it them? Is it him? You accepted my trouble. I smell it. Thank you. I found a good lead on a way to make money, but I sort of forgot about it. So I want to use shock treatment to try and remember what it was. Yes, indeedy. Just keep hitting me in the head with the hammer until I remember. But be careful if you hit me after I remember it. After I remember it, I'll forget again. Let's do this. I just can't remember. I just can't remember. I just can't remember. I just can't remember. Oh, that was weird. Nope, it's not coming to me. But we can definitely try again, just remember. I'm just because I'm sure I'll remember eventually. So come back and hit me anytime, okay? Hi, gaming duster, welcome to the stream, dudester. I was going to try to jump on his head there, but... I'm not sure if I need to wait. I'm not even trying to figure this out. 
Maybe I need to do it as fast as possible. But let's see if we can get a lot of these hits in. There we go. That's it! I remember now. I have to buy a sleepy sheep at the shop in Rogueport and sell it for a two-coin profit in Pedalburg. I let that tip be your reward. Don't spend all those po don't don't spend all those profits. But now we need to go back and report the the trouble has been solved. Oh, we don't need to report it back, right? Okay. Well, that's all we'll do on that for now. We'll do a few more later. Our rewards. We are rewarded with a money-making scheme, pretty much. Right, looks like we can get through here. I like how the curse is carried on to the fucking uh, partners as well. Quote-unquote curse. Who, me? My name's Pierre. I'm what techni what's technically called a completely awesome thief. I used to work as a geologist researching rocks on the town, but it paid nothing. That's when Ishnel, the boss of the Robos, picked me up. I've since washed my hands of geology and I'm now an amazing thief. Ha ha! Oh, there's another star piece up there. We must have a lot of star pieces by now. Let me check. I've got 15. You want something, chump? This is the fortress of the Robo Thieves. You lost. What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? Say it in vacation. Was that? You want to meet that lion, cheating, stealing, no good jerky for brains, Don Pinata? Real thieves like end up as poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing that? And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it's gonna cost you 64 coins. And no budgeting on the price, not a single coin. Inside info is pricey, them's the breaks. Right, there you go then. You'll pay, really? Sure. I've got more than enough money. Yes, I mean, good call. You're a shrewd businessman, 64 coins on the nose. Okay then, clean those ears out and listen here. There's a parlor in the west part of town that's war that's run by a worn out Don Pinetta. Go to the store next to the parlor, buy a dried shroom and a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried shroom, dizzy dial, you got that? You do that, and the shopkeeper's going to ask you what your favorite color is. You answer, yellow. Got that? Not green, not blue. Yellow. You hear me? Say yellow is the password for getting into Don Scumbag's oh-so-comfy office. You got that? Right, that's all we need to know. I think the really cool thing about that is that you don't actually need to come here to get that information. Like, I think if you already had that information handy, you could, like, just do that without actually come going over there to him. But I didn't want to look up a walkthrough or anything. Like, I've played this before, but it was, like, years ago, so I didn't remember what you had to do exactly. I knew it was something to do with, like, buying items in a certain order. Oh, hey, Chod. Yeah, I'll be playing Metal Gear in, like, maybe 20 minutes from now. Maybe a little bit sooner than that, actually. I might hold off on chapter 3 of this game for next time. It's a really good chapter. We'll just finish up this part first. I need to store away two items so we can buy two of these things. Put that in there. And put that in there. Yeah, yeah, here we go. 
All right, mister, what color is your mustache? Oops, what's wrong with me? That's not the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. Okay, mister, what's your favorite color? Uh-huh, well, you check out. You know the passwords. So you must be an acquaintance of Don Pinata. Good for you. Yeah, I can see they've replaced the bunny ears with cat ears. Other than that, though, it still very much looks like a Playboy get up with the the collars and the uh, bow tie. I guess you can go through the door. I'll, I'll go on with your bad self. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. You gotta beef spit it out quick or this gun hurts. Excuse me? You wanna... You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? I, I can't fucking do a, a New York accent. See, now to me, that's funny. You stand-up comedian? No, you oughta be. You get some nerve asking for that? I'm Don Pinata. I make crying babies weep. You want I should run this bum out in the real boss? Look at them, what a rube. You must like pain, funny guy. You looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk, you boys can wait till we're done. So you can rough him up, you got it? So I gotta assume you're, you got a reason for one and a ticket for the blimp? Out with it. What's that? You want to help some brat get herself kidnapped? Or some brat what got herself kidnapped? Stream's running fine, isn't it? Like, let me know if there's been any buffering or anything. And to rescue that dame, you gotta be collecting out the crystal stars. The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't, that just, though, ain't that those things the legend about the ancient treasure? Vinny, you're <laughs> he's called Vinny, okay then. Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Fairy tale nothing, that treasure's real. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if that treasure is real or not, you get me? But I tell ya, I can't help a guy like you who wants some skirt... Who wants some skirty foe for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? Wait, what's the favor? It's easy, it's nothing, it's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter has eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long that they did. They ought to be still nearby. You gotta find my daughter Francesca and that Frankie, and bring them both back here. If you're unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I'll settle this matter quickly and what what I was just known as extreme prejudice. Boss! We don't know nothing about this guy. You can't really do you can't really rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Finney's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you It's cause of you logs, we can't find it's because of you looks I can't find her and I gotta swallow my own pride to ask this guy. I hope you don't say making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No boss, whatever you say goes boss. I don't know what I was thinking boss. It won't happen again boss. You're the boss boss. Good, I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled yeah? Find my daughter and her friends then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Let's see what she has to say about him. That's the boss down Pinata. It's true what they say about this guy. He's got poise. But he's also got a mean streak and a mile... He's got a mean streak a mile wide. They call him the dawn of untimely death. 
Still, he's got a really soft spot for his daughter Francesca. That's Tony of the Pinatas. That guy and his brother Vinny, they're super tight. Tony's a wise guy who doesn't mind mixing it up a bit, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean, but okay. That's Vinny of the Pinatas. That guy... That guy there is his brother Tony. They're super tight. They live for the boss. Seriously. They put their lives on the line for him. I only brought her out just so I could see information on those particular NPCs. Right, let's go look for these. Let's go look for these people. Let's store my items that I don't want. Oops. You know what, I don't think we need to use the Ultra Mushroom just yet. Let's put that away. Right, how many items have we got out right now? Right, we've filled that up. Good. With new numbers every day, the lottery is fun and exciting exploding. The lottery is fun and exploding with excitement. Tell me more. It's the way Happy Lucky Lottery is so special. You pick the numbers and you might win each day. Just buy your numbers here, one at a time. Buy another if you change your minds. Then check back later on this board to see if your number has come in. If your number matches, the day's draw. Then you'll get a super Happy Lucky prize. The day's number is drawn each night at midnight. If you play and check the boards every day, your number is sure to come up eventually. And when I say midnight, I mean according to your Nintendo GameCube clock. Buy a number, it's only 10 coins for new customers. Sure. Oh, happy, thank you, here's your number. 6040. You can use that number and you can use the same number until you win the jackpot. Play lucky and happy. Right, so 6040, let's see what we got. Today's winning number. Well, we've got one matching number. Oh. D okay, I thought I had one matching number. I guess it means you need to match from left to right then. Because the zero was in the same spot, but I guess that doesn't count. You need to get six and then zero, and so on. It's a shame I don't need that. Come again tomorrow. Probably won't play this tomorrow. Oh yeah, I've watched some of the new DuckTales reboot episodes, they're pretty good. It doesn't really move the plot forward by that much, like there is one that kind of moves one of the plot threads forward a little bit about... Um, basically about Huey doing Louie's mother, which is like a plot thread that's been there since the start of the reboot. But they haven't really done much with it yet. That's about all there is in terms of like new stuff outside of just like being standalone episodes, but the standalone episodes are pretty good. Apparently Darkwing Duck has been confirmed to appear in a, a near upcoming episode of the show. In which case if that's true then I hope they get um, Jim Cummings to do the voice for him. Are they in here? Nope. Oh yeah, that guy. We will, we'll see him eventually, when the chapter calls for it. I think maybe they're at the dock then? Or rather they're at the harbour, or whatever you want to call this place, the port. There they are. Hey, back off you creep. You want something or are you just sliding up to people? 
What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us with him. Take us to him. Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know, and the, the boat's coming any minute. Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try talking to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. You know what it would do if... if you know what it would... Do you know what it would do if we do that? Francesca, baby doll. If we can talk to them cam-like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie. More than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But, but the biscuits. If they already found us out, we can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the harder they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish those flames of passion. No one. Don't you see, mister? I beg you to pretend that you never saw us. Can you do that? No way, sub sister. What did you say to me? You terrible, terrible man! Fine, have it your way, but we won't go with you, never. I won't move from this spot. Alright then, guess we're gonna have to go tell Don Pinata. What should we do, Mario? At least... We have to at least tell Don Pinata something. But that stuff about our luck turning terrible didn't sound all that appetizing. I wonder if the items have changed since we were last here. Nope, same stuff. I'm not sure how frequently that changes, maybe like every day. So yeah, I think I'm going to save chapter 3 for next time. We'll finish this part up and then we'll save. I hope I don't need to buy those two items again to go through here. Okay, good. That would be a pain in the ass to have to constantly rebuy those two items just to get access to this room again. Oh, look who's come back! The proverbial moustache! You gonna brighten my mood? So give what you got. You know whereabouts of those two runaways? Sure do, and I can tell you. Oh, is that a true fact? Rookport Harbour, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I'll prepare your blimp ticket right away. Hey, hey, you two Nimrods! Get the kids, get the kids down at the harbor. Now go get them. Daddy, wait. Francesca! Boss, forgive me boss, I'm sorry, I truly am. Frankie, so, back you come, head hang low and your wits... Head hung low and wits with your tail between your legs. I can't even fucking read this. No daddy, don't hurt him, I'm the one who said we should have eloped, it was me. But Frankie said no, he said we should come back and talk to you. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. Oh, the blame right here. Daddy! Boss! Ah! Enough quiet, both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used to... you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie, you were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pinata? I feel such disappointment in you two, like a poison shroom in my gut. Daddy! Boss! I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where you go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go. Do what you want. 
even if it means getting married. Oh, daddy. Dad. No, wait, I mean boss. <laughs> Thank you so much, daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise. I promise you that. She won't. She won't for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go. Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats for both of you. Frankie, this is great. In quite a while, would I promise? But hey, things turned out. Mo things turned out okay. Am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell, and thank you. This scene is greater than the entirety of the Star. <laughs> Pretty much. You still here? Yeah, you still owe me a blimp ticket. Mm, well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just looking at how things turned out, what a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, just like I said. Got a ticket for an airship that travels to Glitzville. Who knew? That guy's got smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were right. The right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. We now have the ticket to chapter 3, so we will save here and we will continue next time. Let me just go to the save point. Because once we get aboard the, the blimp, we'll be able to start chapter 3. How long has the stream gone on F4 anyway, or at least this session? Let me check. 2 hours and 15 minutes. Yeah, that's about time. We did it, now we can go to Glitzville. Remind me to check that email next time, I don't feel like reading it right now. Not after reading all that dialogue in a shitty New York accent. Right, there we go. So we will continue that in the next couple of days and we will start what is probably one of the best chapters in the game. So if you've not seen chapter 3 of this game then I do highly recommend you come back for that in the next couple of days. Probably do that on Friday I guess or over the weekend.